What's up guys, Sal here. So at this point, you and even your dog know the Galaxy S23 Ultra will have a big upgrade in the camera department. Specifically, the phone will get a 200 megapixel main camera. And while you might have heard that more megapixels don't necessarily mean better quality, but in the world of pixel bidding, it's quite the opposite. Pixel binning can provide better low light performance at the expense of some image resolution. If you forgot what pixel binning is, it's a technology where clusters of adjacent pixels are grouped together or bin together to form larger super pixels. Ultimately, it's all about using the available megapixels in the smartest way possible. You probably don't need the 200 megapixel resolution images very often, but what if your camera could see better in the dark, cope better in bright light, and produce clearer video? That's where pixel bending on the Galaxy S23 Ultra can help. With that said, here we have another camera sample from the S23 Ultra, but this time it's being pitted against the Pixel 7 Pro, which has one of the best cameras ever. The photos are taken at full 200 megapixel resolution and 50 megapixels for the Pixel 7 Pro. They were cropped multiple times to give you this image, and as you can see, the S23 Ultra blows the Pixel 7 Pro out of the water when it comes to the level of detail it can retain. The photo from the Pixel 7 Pro looks good, but when you compare it side by side, the S23 Ultra just makes the photo from the Pixel look washed out. They even compared it with the S22 Ultra, and even though the color science in both Samsung phones is about the same, which is warm and vibrant, the S23 Ultra preserved fine details like the ridges and the lines on the fruit better. What's impressive is that the S23 Ultra is running pre-release software, which means Samsung will improve the camera software even more before the phone hits the shelves in February. Now, if we compare the other aspect, namely the HDR, the S23 Ultra still needs some optimization, as currently it's not as good as the Pixel 7 Pro. It's better than the S22 Ultra though, but as I've said, there's still time for the handset's release. Samsung is optimizing the camera software, so you can be sure they will improve the HDR performance in time for the unpacked event. With that said, we also have some information about the vanilla Galaxy S23. According to the tipster, Samsung will downgrade the haptic feedback engine, aka the vibration motor, because they want to keep the prices of the S23 as low as possible. Samsung will likely not launch the S23 FE next year, so hopefully that means we're in for a price cut for the base variant compared to the 2022 models. We'll have to wait and see, but this doesn't mean the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra will also see a downgrade in the haptic feedback. Both these phones are expected to get the same vibration motor as the S22 Plus and Ultra. The Galaxy S23 Ultra will be one of the first smartphones to get this new upgrade. To know what it is and what it means for you, click here and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.